All right, this is day eight breakfast. I'm gonna do fried wild mushrooms with sheep sorrel. I've got a cup of stewed blueberries on the go, and probably that's a cup and a half or two cups of uh, catfish broth from last night. Day eight. Day eight, I started with wild mushrooms for breakfast, one cup of stewed blueberries, uh, I had a few berry snacks outside, raspberries and choke cherries off of a tree. I cut all of the beaked hazel stems off of the nut to help these to dry out a little bit. And you can see, oops, I'm making a shadow here. Some of these nuts have been infected by a weevil and so there are also a couple of little grubs that have emerged from these as they're drying out and so those are gonna get added to a stir fry at, at some point. Tonight, tonight I'm eating a few more berries and beaver stew again as I get, get to the last of my beaver stew, which is pretty exciting actually. Just wrapping up day nine. Um, so fish broth at lunch, beaver stew at supper. I had a couple handfuls of wild raspberries, choke cherries, blackberries and some currants um, and today I started baiting a bear stand uh, and I lucked out doing that while heading up to bait the bear stand I got into quite a few wild mushrooms so here's a big bowl of chanterelles, wood ears and some edible bowl eats uh, so more than I can eat so I'm gonna put some in the refrigerator for tomorrow and the rest of them I'm going to simmer down with uh, some of my bear fat that I've been holding in reserve. Um, so I'll saute them and freeze them for later dinners. Probably a good two pounds of mushrooms there. Day nine breakfast. These are the grubs that were in those hazelnuts. That's not all I'm having for breakfast though. I've got sauteed mushrooms from yesterday and venison steaks marinated with a little bit of birch syrup and also some birch beer vinegar. How's that for breakfast? Hey guys, it's day nine. I started this morning with some venison chops and wild mushrooms and then for lunch had leftover venison chops and wild mushrooms. Supper is a feast, so Duffy and I put together um, venison sausage with wild leeks. Uh, so there are leeks in the sausage and then they were also cooked with pickled wild leeks. There is a backyard salad or a wild green salad here. There are more wild mushrooms sautéed in bear fat. There is wild nettle. There are milkweed pods, twice boiled. Um, dessert is going to be some stewed blackberries and blueberries. Um, and the wine is choke cherry wine that I made last year and aged until now. So, cheers. cheers. 
This is that refrigerated broth. Look at how rich that is. It's like that fat layer on top. And it's really gelatinous. So uh, it's day 11. And I had a... Come on, you. Really good meal last night. Uh, this morning... I had some beaver stew and probably two cups of blueberries that uh, I didn't have breakfast so that was my lunch and tonight I'm just having this uh, leftover fish broth um, I'm gonna make sure I've got something hearty for breakfast tomorrow morning it's been almost exactly two weeks since we picked these hazelnuts so I started to separate some of them because the husks are nicely dried now um, but this collection of hazelnuts has also resulted in some probably more nutritious even than the nuts all these fat grubs and now that they've crawled out i can see clearly which hazelnuts were infected to begin with so rather than having wasted my time to shell them i can just discard these ones without spending the time to peel them open and crack them and these guys are going into a hot pan so today's day 14 of my eating hunter-gatherer diet uh, I haven't done a lot of daily updates lately but mostly I've been eating a lot of that beaver stew so finishing that up I added some uh, wild cranberries and some wild mushrooms and a little bit of salt and spice to uh, make it a little more interesting but I'm pretty happy to report that today might have been my second last beaver stew meal so I've been eating a lot of that um, just to eat it all up. I'm going to be moving on to bear, venison and more of the catfish that I caught during the wilderness living challenge with the wooded beardsman. So what was interesting about this week is um, I only dropped a pound so I'm at 185.3 pounds now I thought it would have been a little bit more than that, um, but it feels like maybe just based on the quantity of uh, food that I'm eating, I've almost leveled off, at least in this week. Uh, so I'm really interested in the third week, the upcoming week, to see what happens. Uh, I'm still eating f blueberries every day and some other fruits, so I want to work in some more choke cherries because they're in season right now. Um, I'm probably really missing a lot of my greens. So uh, I had a good feed of stinging nettle today and I'll have some tomorrow. Uh, probably try and get a little bit more of that and get into some burdock roots um, and other wild vegetables. And aside from that, um, fats I thought were going to be pretty difficult, but the way that I've been preparing my foods has been a little fattier. So the catfish was a just seemed to be a fattier fish. It's got lots of fat in the broth when I um, cook it and the bear meat should be pretty fatty. I've had that little reserve, that um, pot of bear fat. So that's been going into a lot of my drier meals to boost the fat content. Um, the venison will be a little bit fatty. And aside from those items, I'm really kind of running low in the fat department. Um, but I'll see if I can scavenge up some other, other fat sources. 